What is happening guys? I am Winter Guardian and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. So we are about to enter Hogsmeade with Natty and explore and get our wand and hopefully get some pretty good butterbeer. So let's get into it and see what we got in store for us here. There's the wand shop. Let's do that first. I'm so excited to get my wand. Not again. And we might just shoplift along the way, apparently. We can cause problems on purpose. Hello. I'll be right with Ah, it's you. Um just a moment, please. He looks at me like he knows what's up. Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, Aww. truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Yes, please. Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um... Ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Mm, no. Well, go ahead. Cheese. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on. Really swish it. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that ain't it, Chief. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? No. <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Ooh. Let's give this one a try. Uh, I don't like the handle. Ew, it looks like a twisted tree branch. Oh, oh, oh goodness! <sighs> looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <sighs> this is proving like to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, do I get to design it? Ooh. I like the white. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Hmm. I kind of like either the natural or maybe even... Curious indeed. Hmm. How intriguing. It kind of looks like a unicorn horn. I do kind of like that one, though. Curious indeed. How intriguing. I'm allergic to cedar wood, so. Um. I don't know. 
Rowan wood would be good. That's actually a... Rowan berries are supposed to keep, like, fey spells from being, like, cast on you, I think. Let's do Curious Rowan. Curious indeed. It's like an even 13, why not? We could do the reasonable Curious symbol. indeed. Definitely some dragon hearts. Or do we want Phoenix Feather? Nah, dragon heart string. A dragon heart string wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, I'd say it's reasonably it. Let's do what this. What do you think? I like it. She's cute. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <sighs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. I didn't know and that, And the actually. bond between you cool. and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. That is so cool. Thank you. I got no idea how much that costs. Go ahead and save real quick, just so that way I don't um, mess up my, my wines. All right. So we have a wand. Zonkos. What's in here? I mean, I know it's a card shop, but... Can I talk to you? Hi. I'm just gonna stare at me like a crazy. Oh, they really went all out. Interesting. Oh, Honey Dukes is up here. Heck yeah, let's go. Yes! Give me the chocolate frogs! Whoa, this looks so cool! Uh oh, do I have to pay for that or can I just... Are these free samples for students? Not me just going and eating everything in Hogsmeade. <laughs> this is so cool. Whoa. Should have read the warning. Fizzing woods bees will make you float. 
Indeed they did. Might not be bad to have. Let's see, what else do they got? Can't have anything that looks in the little mermaid bowls. It's a Niffler! Revenia. Exploding bonbons. These treats explode when eaten. Although they are unlikely to cause serious injury, one is advised to chew carefully. I would imagine so. Oh, there's quite a few things in here. Ah, there's a level lock. Darn it. Am I allowed to just eat everything in here? Fizzing Wisbees. These delicious sweets rumored to contain Billy Wig Stings are small sherbet balls that when consumed will levitate if one a few inches off the ground. Level lock on that door too. Man, I gotta get Lucan to get me in some more of those underground fights. Let me help level faster. <laughs> Alright, I think I've eaten a sufficient amount of sugar. Oh yeah, she's going. She's running. She a runner, she a track star. She going. Okay, I don't know what that did. Oh, there's a lot of places here that are level locked. Okay. It's so big. Wow. And it runs so smoothly, too. I'm running around like a crazy person. Ugh, all these things are level locked. Alright, potion shop. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. J. Pippin's, what's good, Pippin? Perry the Pippin. Me, oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Pushins. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How Good may practice. I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. <laughs> Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Heck yeah! Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now... Let's get you those recipes, shall we? I appreciate it very much, sir. Also, I what feel like I potions could today? be used more discreetly. Like, if you had to take them into the muggle world, you could probably get away with... There's a... <laughs> Ministry of Magic didn't say anything about potion use. They just said no wizardry. And it's the school of witchcraft and wizardry. <laughs> Healing potion and other potions. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Ooh. I have to save up some more money. That invisibility potion's gonna come in handy. I can already feel it. Spider Fang. I don't want to know how you're supposed to get those. No thank you. Stench of the dead. <laughs> I don't want to know how they get that either. <laughs> Mongrel fur. 
troll bug. He's gross. That's the one that concerns me. That's the I don't want it. Uh, hmm. Scarves, glasses, other stuff. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Pippin. Appreciate you, sir. Now that we got that. Beautiful. Can't go down that way. Okay. Casual uniform. Huh, everything's level locked. What's this? Oh, she going. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just like come and just eat and drink and take everybody's food. Can I touch something here? No. <gasps> Kitty! Hello, cat. Is there an achievement for petting every cat in the game? I'm determined to try that. I don't know where every cat is, but we could definitely try. Maybe like achievement pet a hundred cats. Level locked. Okay, well this is back in the center. That's three broomsticks. Let me get my map out. I need to go... Oh, there's a Quidditch saw. We need to go here. I need a broom. I have 200... I got 200 coins. Your finest broom. Locked! Why is it locked? Why can't I be a menace on a broom yet? <sighs> That's disappointing. Okay. Where else did I need to go? Beast byproducts? Okay, visit the Magic Neep and Tomes and Scrolls. Okay, well, we got Tomes and Scrolls geared up, so let's see. Yoink. An inquiring mind. Uh, more like a required school assignment, but sure. We can go with inquiring mind. What's this? So quiet in here. Whoa. What's up here? Pavelio. The chest. More money to put towards my invisibility potion. Recipe that I want. Okay. Hello, good sir. I'm here about some books. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spell crafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm no. afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. Hey, I can take but some But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. 
Yay! Let's look at Maybe what we, we have, shall we? Maybe we can start an underground potion trading ring, just like uh, the underground duelist ring. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around so the so at the rest of my inventory. Yeah, we'll start out with the basics. Don't I have this? You can say, wait, didn't I get, didn't I find that in a chest? Ah, there it is. Nice. Yeah, defense zero. Defense is at least five now, so that's good. Yeah, we'll stick with that. And save. And now we will go to, what is it, the magic neep? Is the magic neep? You are here, Pippin's Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium, Wizard Wear, Bruden Peck. Where is the magic neep? Sticks, Zongos, Hog's Head, which I couldn't get into yet. The Old Fool. That is an interesting name for an abandoned building. I'm guessing, is this it? Dogweed and Death Cap. Plant Shop. Is that where I need to go? I would assume so. They said seeds. Oh, no, it's a. Uh... Well, it's on the way. We'll pass it going over there. So let's see. We going. Excuse me. Got places to be. Don't mind me, fellow students. This is what happens when you can't use blue powder to teleport. This is why I'm like, I guess they can't use apparition until they're 17 because I think it's something to do with like, it'll, it could tear their muscles apart because their muscles aren't fully developed yet or something. The apparating is like the most useful thing ever. And then I think too, they had like the trace on it to where like they could be tracked. But I mean, like, if you're a student and you're just trying to operate to get around, I don't see a problem with that. Let me pass it. Oh, it's on the other side of the bridge. Okay. But wait, I'm curious, because we're going to have to go back into the village anyway. Let's go see what's over here. Why are you all the way out in the middle of nowhere? Hello. Beatrice Green. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Aww. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if Ooh. you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clean-up. <laughs> so 
Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, huh. really, that it was just the one. Now then, I help you today. I just think casual. I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Ooh. Fertilizer, Chinese chopper cabbage, mandrake, venomous tatacula seed. Nothing I can afford. Interesting. Revenue. Why are you glowing? Whoa, the butterfly's smooth. Okay. Bavelia. The large tree with winding branches supports the shop, dogweed and death cat. Okay, so the shop is part of the tree. <laughs> Niffler! Look at him! A BB, oh my goodness. to know that's there. I'm sure I'll eventually have to get some, like, back alley potion plants. Rebellion. Locked in my room. Magic meat, where is it? I could swear I'm right by it. Yep, it's behind me. It is on the opposite side. Whoops. Okay. Okay, so we're back over by the Ooh, what's this? Oh, the wizard wear? I'm curious. Let's see here. Oh, fancy. Revenue. Don't mind me just stealing your wares. Hello, you look very finely dressed, sir. Can I not even talk to you? Am I that broke? I'm that broke, okay. <laughs> He's like, if you ain't got no money, take your problems home. <laughs> Like, I do have some, it's just a student's, a, a modest student's allowance. Plus the stuff that I've swiped off the shops uh, since I've gotten here. Yes. Oh, where's the book? Bavelia. I just saw it. I just saw it. I'm not crazy. <laughs> not the pumpkin. Revenia. Uh, let's see. Mm. Oh, still a book. Hi. Sorry, don't mind me trying to catch this floating book page. Gotcha. Oh. 
Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Yes, hey, Smith is gone. Merlin's beard. Starting on Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. <laughs> Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm in the way inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. Nice. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Sounds good to me. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients That's to pique easy. your interest, Not I'd wager. Mallow sweets. Well, that's everything. Shriveling Better go and find Natty. Fertilizer. Just need leaves. Flux sweet stem, nut grass spring, mallow sweet leaves. And shovel fruit. Oh, that Good to know. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> Sorry. Is there something else over here? Rebellion. The Magic Meep Cart. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Meep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. I respect that. That's actually not a bad business model. No wonder somebody died in Miss Green Shop. She's like all the way out in the boondocks of, Hogs of Hogsmeade and. Let's see, where were the other pages of those books? What's up here? Wiganwell, it's beautiful. Let's see. Oh, that's a mind your business chest. Got it. So there's a graveyard up here. Revelio. What's this? Oh. I know it's frowned upon to take offerings to the dead, but still. <laughs> I am broke and I need a recipe for an invisibility potion. What's up here? Oh, this is all the way up here. Abandoned shop. The proprietor of this abandoned shop said to have used the shrinking charm to aid in storing his inventory. However, a slight miscalculation ended up, and for all intents and purposes, vanishing it. Oh, goodness. Hey, this is the mirror that's in... Why are there two? Is this like a vanishing cabinet thing? Revelio. Hmm. I wonder what the significance of that is. We'll find out, I guess, soon enough. He's just sitting at the three broomsticks. What you doing? <sighs> Was there anything I missed at the plant shop? Not the plant shop. The yeah, this place. Is there any book? No, but there's a chest. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything inside there. I would have noticed it. Was deep. More coins? Hmm. Hmm. 
those last two book pages be? Ah, there's one. Uh, see it. Revenia. One more. Everything in here is just level locked, huh? It looks like there's good Revenia. stuff in there. What? Ah. Ashwinder eggs. Interesting. Mind your business chest. Got it. Okay. Might as well try to find that last page. I got a chief prankster hat. Beautiful. And collections. What's new? Decorations. Plants. Nice. Really quick. Oops. Because we got all those pages, let's just save and then we'll go meet Natty. I am just making her do laps around Hogsmeade. I'm so sorry. This must have just been an owl. Hello, Natty. I am all done. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. I was trying to beat him 
Order. Okay, now that we know what's going on, let's give it another try. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to that get from zero yourself. to a hundred so <laughs> fast, though. We should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Now that we're with him, he's a little bit tougher than Sebastian. I will say. One more! Draw it away from the building! Away from the building! Alright, let's give this another go. We, we know what we're doing. I'm like, we're with him, we got it. Red, I don't think we can dodge for whatever it takes to get the Good thing she switched the pants.
Goodness, that one. a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? Yeah, I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? Yeah. We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed. Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Prepare. Oh, hello there. One last thing for Officer Singer to I will see what he wants. That is such a nasty spell. Like, I wish I could do that to and everything just magically goes back to how it was. I'm like, does that work for like all kinds of other things? <laughs> that is so useful. Okay. I wish we had this one. So much. Lucky they didn't do more. Jeez. It's the fact that they could literally repair entire buildings like that that I just think is like, wow. And why not? We can trim the hedges, make them look all nice and pretty like they were. Just talking about you. You were? Oh, now you'll talk to me. Now, now that I'm not broke? Is it because I saved your shop? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, Augustus Hill. Clothia extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls. And not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to you help. Look like the Frankly, you deserve order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. But one, fact, you get you did one. Today. You only saved my life. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Is Plenty of your you the today. Track. Take your time. Oh, this is so pretty. Wait, wait. These look so much cooler. Fine, I'll take your... your clearance rope. You won't be disappointed. That's a clap. He literally just said, I'll give you the same thing, just different color. 
I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. That's a cape. Mm. Oh, I kind of like the bright blue. A little too flashy for my taste, though. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Professional uniform. I like that too, actually. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made Ooh. for you. I love this. Okay, 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 just... Ooh. <sighs> okay. Decisions, decisions. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Okay, I do love... Was it the professional? <gasps> There's a spider web hat. I'd say see. that looks as if it was made okay, for Okay, no, you. not the spider web hat. That's the, that ain't it. Aid in defense. Uh, I'd say that looks as if like it was made looks. for you. I do want the cool coat. Give me the cool coat. You know what? I suspect you have a sharp eye for that. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wait, Wonderful. I forgot to get the Just coat. Just down this way, then. Wait. Let me... I sell even more battle-worthy items. Yes, Should you give be me inclined, the cool coat, please. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Wait, professional blazer uniform. What's that look like? I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Okay, that was the one I liked. Okay. I really love this blue coat. I... Yeah. We'll steal more money. I mean, we'll get the invisibility potion eventually. I feel like I need to look cool saving the world. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get the cool coat. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by. <laughs> I do, I do. I love a good jacket. I really do. 100%. Yes. I'm just gonna be rolling around hog. I'm gonna pull up to those underground duels like the hottest new thing on campus. Like, what's good? This looks so cool! Oh my god, I want one. I love this. With the breeches and everything. I like, she's a vibe. She is a vibe. This look. she kind of looks like an aura with that. And then real quick, before I forget, let me save. And then we'll get Butterbeer. Okay, yay. I love this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Much style. Vivelio. Much fancy. Gladrags mannequin, Glad mannequin. Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Gladrags serve only as a means to display the latest wizarding fashion. And I do love this wizarding fashion. That is top tier. Look at her strutting it out. I'm like, yes, ma'am, work it. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess like, yeah, no biggie, and just a powerful a witch. Fully grown troll. Good one to know. Especially too, the Hogwarts rags have like dust and dirt on them. Like nobody wants that. Nobody wants to learn defense against the dark arts in that. Look at her! She is so cool! That's us. Oh, that's a- You that's said a... you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Hmm. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? 
All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Said child. Hey, what's good? Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickie, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's like, yeah, we're still having butterbeer. No biggie. It's a treat to see you, Lord God. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Hey, yo! Just walks in. I love that coat. Oh my gosh, I now, want one. what can I... Oh! There's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Thank you. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say... Troll. Like, you have a very nice lead. voice, Serona. I yeah, it's love never that. happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with. Are... <laughs> oh, speak of the devil. That's how I mean. Kick Was that Lord Gog I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that Need if I were you, Theophilus. Come off. now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. Excuse me. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Thank oh, you. Oh, you want a quick word? Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the others. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. I Can't drink so butter sure. beer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. It is perhaps best I do that later. Some I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. All right, but we stand the representation and thank you very much, Serona. I appreciate you stepping in for me there. Oh, wait, wait, before we go out, before we go out, before we go out, hold up. Revenia. Okay. Oh, nope, that's like the other side of the walls. Was upstairs. How dare you stifle my curiosity with your stupid leveling locks. Like I will eventually raid your attic. Okay. You want the tea? I'm certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. 
but for the moment we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Yeah, that's a good call. You must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. Okay. Not the bedtime requirement. I guess she's a student. Guess she has to go to school tomorrow. It's like you get a butterbeer and a robe for fighting a troll. But that is it. God, I love that coat. Oh my goodness. Revelio. All right. Well, now that we're back and we got more of this story and a very cool coat, I think this is a great place to end for this episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I am loving this. I'm loving the diverse characters. I'm loving the villains so far. I'm super curious to see what our protagonist here has with this ancient magic, and I hope you are too. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If there's anything I missed or anything you think I should go back and do, please let me know. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so, so much again. See you later. Bye.